Welcome to Dude RV. I appreciate you stopping by. Hey, I've got a really fun, cool video. I had a company reach out to me and ask me if I'd be willing to, willing and interested in reviewing and featuring one of their products on a video. And, and when I saw what it was, I said, oh yeah. This is from Life Do. And it is billed as the most portable car camping fire pit comes flat pack that's what i'm really excited about i've just opened the box i'm gonna put it together and then we'll talk about it let's do it There weren't any instructions, but it didn't seem that we needed any. It all it all went together pretty simple. What, what I think this is ingenious is there's two different positions for the panel so that you can get it shallower. And I'm I'm gonna reset and redo and 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 put it into this position so we can take a look at that. I think this would be like if you're burning wood. I like that it's got the, the ash pan. So let, let me change it around and we'll, we'll take a look at this other configuration. And rather than doing a time lapse, I'll just leave it live. So we're going to take have these little locking tabs. Pretty heavy duty steel. putting it together you really need three hands shallow a little, little bit wider so if you were going to be burning like doing a little campfire so you can put I can see using this for both charcoal and wood. So if I'm in an area where I, I, I can't have a ground fire and the fire pit is on the wrong side of the RV, I got that. All right. And it arrived just in time because we're about to hit the road to some really cool campsites. And so I'm going to show you how I use this on our journey. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can win one of these cookers from LifeDo. We're gonna have a drawing. Got two of them to give away. And I want you to win one of them. So pay attention. We were on the patio and, and now we're gonna cut to a beautiful campsite in Arkansas. And we're gonna talk about the Urod Fire. That is the, the name of the, the flat pack grill sent to me by 
life do. I'm really excited about this. And here's why. So for the longest time, this, this was my charcoal grill. And I really liked it with one, with, except it's so small. You had to be real careful not to knock stuff off and you could only cook a couple of little things. But well, I need something a little bigger. And I found this one. The one thing I don't like about this one is it puts, I mean, you're literally right on top of the charcoal. So you, you gotta be very attentive. Otherwise you'll charbroil your burger. This one gives me more space. About this, actually more space on than that. Eh, it's about the same. About the same amount of space. But I'm, I'm not sitting like right on top of the coals. And I can reconfigure this. If I need to be closer to the coals, I can, I can reconfigure it so that it sits a little lower. The one thing I, I, I'm not keen on is there, there's nothing to keep that grate from sliding off. There needs to be some kind of stop to hold that in place. So now I just have to be attentive so that I don't drop my burger in the dirt. And so we're going to be cooking on this here in a little bit. I'm going to whip up some Lone Star Brats, don't you know? That'll be the first thing cooked on the Urod grill. So stay tuned. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. All right. We got the Lone Star Brats cooking. These are, by the way, habanero peach breakfast sausage links. Dude, dude, they are freaking awesome. Of course, I, I like I like a little hot and I like a little sweet, but the habanero peach breakfast sausage links are mmm, muy bueno. So uh, about the grill. I think there needs to be some kind of bead weld or something, some kind of stop because these bars slide back and forth. It would be very easy to drop the food in the fire. Uh, so having a spot weld bead or something to, to lock it in place would be excellent. Uh, the same goes for the, the cooking grate. It would be easy to push that pushing push that cooking grate off the grill so something to stop that a little lip here or a bead weld or something on the grate itself but those are the only two real drawbacks I, I've, I've, I've found so far um, I, I'll cook some more stuff on it and I'll, I'll keep you updated as this progresses so stay tuned more to come more food to cook not a happy camper not at all so i've had three roll rolling rolling food rolling sausage incidences all right so i just now lost one of my Oh, this is this breaks my heart. I broke. I, I just lost one of my peach habanero sausages. It just pfft, rolled right off the the end here. I, w I was doing a, a little roll so I can get that golden brown, and it just kept on going. And earlier, I lost this this brat. It rolled right down into the charcoal, right through here. That frustrates me to no end. I think there should be some rolling arresters. Yes, that is what I said. Rolling arrester. There should be some kind of rolling arrester if you're cooking sausage on this this grill. Um, it's just frust something to keep it from going off the ends and the sides would be helpful. All right, we got a, we got some ribeye action going here. 
on the life do I gotta tell you this is a bit of a learning curve there's no instructions that come with how how best to utilize this so this time the first time I set it up I went with so there's two different settings there's one that's shallow and then there's one that's deep and it's determined by the angle of the sides so I, I, yesterday when I was cooking the the brats I cooked and the little sausages I had it set on the shallow and I realized I should have had it on on the deep and now that I'm cooking them with the steak I really should have that on the shallow and not the deep <laughs> I'm still having an issue with the slide off because the grate doesn't it's not locked down and it keeps moving off. I'm gonna be very upset if I lose a ribeye. All right. So a couple more days I'm gonna cook some more stuff on this. So I'll I'll cut back in when I cook on it again. That's that's my number one beef with the the cooker. All right, so right now we haven't cooked any burgers yet, so it's time to cook some, some hamburger patties. See how it does on that, and I'm gonna do that on a time lapse too. So let's go cook a burger. Big thick sirloin burger patties I had to build up the heat. They're really thick, and that's the lowest possible setting for the grate. I'm pretty sure they're done though. They look really good. All right, I'm gonna go eat a burger. I'll be back mo with more cooking on the Life Do Urod Fire. More to come. Life do. Urdu fire. You are our designer. Urdu fire. I'm cooking some lamb chops. Right out here beside the coach. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put the the Urdu fire to the test for a portable fire pit. So stay tuned. More to come. So the Urdu fire. Urdu stands for you are our designer Urdu fire from life do this, this is the whole charcoal flat pack charcoal grill thing that I've been cooking on and showing in this video one of the reasons I got so excited about it when they when they presented it to me was the other other option for this there have been several occasions where we were camping where there was no fire rain and it was not really possible to do a ground fire and i pulled out the small charcoal grill and built a fire in that that doesn't work too well because the metal is not heavy enough well this bad boy works just great we're in this weird campsite right here that's 
actually just kind of a wide spot in the road. So it's a street side fire bowl, fire pit. What are, what are we gonna call this? Street side campfire. I mean, literally, we are street side. We don't have to worry about the ash and the coals because of the tray. That's a win right there. That, and that kind of makes up, that, that almost makes up for the brats falling in the charcoal. All right, more to come. Got one more thing to cook on this bad boy before we close out this video. Stay tuned. So the last night of our journey, we are cooking up some shrimp on the barbie with the Urdu fire. Urdu fire, Urdu fire. It's my life do. You are our designer Urdu fire. Anyway, we're cooking up some, some shrimp on the barbie. And here shortly, I'll be throwing a ribeye on there to get it just, just right. We got the ribeye cooking on the Urdu fire. The shrimp is, well, the shrimp is done for most normal people, but Yappy's got to have it well done. So we've timed this this out properly. So the ribeye should be done. A proper ribeye should be medium rare, or rare medium, and a proper shrimp should be really really well done all right i'm gonna put on time lapse and we're gonna cook the ribeye You missed the part where I ate the, the the surf and turf. It was it was incredibly good. Uh, for some reason, the camera, you know, GoPros are GoPros have got their GoPros can be finicky. I'm telling you, that's why you missed me finishing and eating that fantastic ribeye steak. Let me tell you, it was good. It was really really good. And the, and Yappy said the shrimp was fantastic too. All right, so let's talk about winning free stuff. I, I really, I really like the the Urdu fire. I wouldn't be doing this giveaway if I didn't like it, which is why I, I waited until after I'd finished this trip to North Carolina. And if you don't win one, you you might want to go and check this out on Amazon. There's a link in the description below, and there's also a discount code for 15% off of the retail price and yes i am an affiliate with amazon and i earn a little bit of money when you buy something it doesn't change your pricing in any way it, any, it helps this time you get 15 percent off using that code down there all right if you're interested in winning one of these i've, I've got two urdu urdu fire from life do they've given me two to give away well they haven't given them to me but they've they're giving away to and I'm facilitating that and I'm sure there's a couple of other youtubers that are doing it as well but the way my contest is gonna work there's a little two little things you gotta do the the contest ends on August 4th and the results will be announced on August 6th I'm going to use a random comment selector to select a comment posted by you guys, the viewers, the people who are watching this video. So you're going to want to post a comment down in the, down below and you're going to have to answer a question. So you must be a subscriber to win one and you have to answer a question to win. 
I'm gonna make sure you're paying attention. So in the video that you've just watched, at what timestamp did I lose a brat to the fire? It's that simple. Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell and tell me at what timestamp did one of my Lone Star brats fall into the fire and break my heart. So that's how you're gonna win and, and then the, I'll notify the winners uh, in the video and, and we'll go from there. All right, that brings us to the end of this little product review video. And this, this was actually one of the, the more fun ones I've had making because I got to make all that good food and eat, <laughs> man. And you can tell this thing's holding up really well after having a, a campfire in it and cooking lots of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm still having issues with those. And with, with that being so slippery, uh, and as you can see in some of the videos, like when I'm cooking that steak, it, it, it moves. So you gotta, it takes two hands. But every, everything has got, everybody's got stuff. So, yeah, it's got some stuff. Maybe in future iterations of this product, they'll have resolved some of those uh, issues. But as is, I'm going to keep using this. And if you want one, you can go click that link and get 15% off on Amazon. All right, I'm rambling along. So if this is your first visit and you want to win one of those, you got to click on the subscribe button. But if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate you clicking, considering clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, man, thank you. That's why I do what I do. That's why I get to cook on this grill and give you one. And for my patrons, y'all rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?